As we talked about in the last lesson, since we are working in a digital format and on a computer monitor with no intention to print, we will be working in the RGB color mode. So let me show you two neat qualities about working and understanding RGB with two experiments I'm about to show you. The first experiment is the complementary factor test and seeing how opposites cancel each other out. As you may have learned about complementaries, they are colors that are located on the opposite side of the color wheel. And looking at our RGB mixing graph, we have the modern color wheel built in, but let me push the colors in a wheel to better see it. Here you can see the color directly opposite from each other as follows. Red and cyan, yellow and blue, and green and magenta. So on the right, I'm going to pull up two rows of the opposite complementary colors. And the theory of complementaries canceling each other out can be tested in this experiment of mixing them together. You may not know what these colors will mix into, but it may surprise you. So I have another layer right here with the top layer set to a 50% opacity. Now, when I move this layer down over the opposites, you'll notice something pretty neat. Not only do they all produce the same end result, but they are each at a perfect neutral gray. We can check that by looking at our color picker and we're left with a result that is void of saturation and our brightness is set right in the middle at 50% as indicated right here. And that's how you can see how complementary colors cancel each other out. So the second test is showing how the red, blue, and green lights work together to create a final image. It's a cool one, but you may need to follow closely to fully realize how this works. So right now, we are looking at this 100% white canvas on the background here. And remember that to create this white result, all three lights of red, green, and blue need to shine together at 100%, as seen in our mixing graph here. And to create black, the red, green, and blue lights don't shine at all. Keep this in mind as we move forward. So I split this example illustration into just its red, green, and blue channels and set the layer mode to linear dodge. And you can see in parentheses it says add to mimic how light adds a combination of red, green, and blue to create any color. So why didn't anything show up then? That's because you can't add onto white. It's already at its purest brightness with the red, green, and blue shining their brightest. So what do we do to fix that? How about instead of starting with a white background, we start with a black background. So now we can see the red, green, and blue in their purest result. And with the image split into its red, green, and blue properties, I also mark them below indicating which light is shining. This becomes pretty neat seeing how they mix. According to our RGB mixing graph in the corner, when you mix red and green light, it results in yellow. Well, let's test that. I'm going to grab the red layer, and I'm gonna move it on top of our green layer. And it does, in fact, produce a yellow result. And below the image, you may also notice that both the red and the green are lit up, representing that the red and green layers are working together to create this image. So if I keep moving the red layer over the blue layer, what do you think should happen? Well, if you're not sure, let's check the mixing guide again. You can see that red and blue should result in a magenta. So let's move it over and see. And it does, in fact, create a magenta mix. And if you want to, you can download this PSD and play with mixing them around for yourself. And the same mixing result should occur when moving the blue example. So in our mixing guide, you can see that blue and green should result in teal. And when I move the blue example over green, it does in fact result in a teal look. Before we combine all three together, notice how the colors are shining the brightest in the area around the character. That's because in the example image, it's close to white. And remember that to create white, you need all three lights shining their brightest. All right, here's the moment we've been building up to. When we combine all three, it will result in the final illustration example with the red, green, and blue lights mixing in harmony together. And you may have also noticed how the RGB indicator on the bottom turned white, and that's because red, blue, and green are working together to produce the final result.